Hello guys, it is the second day of wild card play here at the North American Star League and the implications of today's games are wide reaching to say the least. Every single game has drastic effects on the outcome of our 16 man playoff bracket and well we're just going to talk a little bit about it here today. Uh, the first game that we have is Rhett versus Thorazane and the outcome of that game literally has a ripple effect on like every player in the bracket. Rhett is the highest seeded wild card play player and Thorazane is the lowest seeded wild card player. Therefore, depending on the result, uh, the playoff bracket can see 16 different incantations. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Um, we're, we're trying to shed a little bit of light on all the brackets and actually this is one of the only ones that we can actually uh, find the combinations to and we can actually see where these players will go to if they win or if they lose. Let's talk about Rhett versus Thorzane with Rhett winning first. All right, so if Rhett wins this, he'll actually face off against the Muslim. As uh, Bitter was saying just before, he is the lowest seeded playoff player. He'll be uh, facing off against Rhett, who is the highest seed. Now, it's kind of interesting because these two players already met where they were actually fighting for their particular seeds. Yeah, there was a tiebreaker and the Muslim took that game. It doesn't count to any, there's no extended series. It just means that they'll reset to a new series and I'll play from there and advance to the finals. We also have the opposite scenario, uh, scenario as well. If Thorzane beats Red, then Thorzane advances to play the number one seed since he's ranked number 16 in the wild card bracket. That means he's going to go play Puzzle, and TT1, who's currently 15th and advanced to the playoff bracket, will be playing up against Hero, the number two seed. And that's the number one thing. We call it wild cards because we really don't know where they're going to be until the very end. They could be anywhere, really. That's why the combinations. Uh, as Bitter said, are, are just so extremely high. Uh, but thankfully, you know, because they are the highest and the lowest seeds, we can actually decipher it just a little bit better. That's exactly right, Andre. Thanks to you guys for explaining it. The importance of these games, higher than they've been all season long, guys. Be sure to stay tuned for North American Star League wildcard play day number two coming right up.